As a software developer, we all have faced the same problem, whether we are working with a React app or creating API using Django. During a big project, we are unable to find or track the bug which is causing this issue. So in today's tutorial, we are going to explore an amazing tool which is going to simplify this problem. And the tool is cursor.ai. Watch this video till the end if you want to learn more about it. Now before we move on, just a quick info guys. If you're really interested in fast tracking your career in AI and machine learning, then this is the perfect opportunity for you. Simply Learn's professional certificate program in generative AI and machine learning is built in collaboration with ENICT Academy, IIT Guwahati, and it is designed to give you more hands-on experience with tools like ChatGPT, OpenAI, Hugging Face, DALI2, and many more. Over the course of 11 months, you'll engage in live virtual classes with IIT Guwahati faculty and industry expert. You will also work on 25 plus projects and participate in exclusive IBM hackathons and ask me anything questions. Not only you will earn a prestigious program completion certificate from IIT Guwahati, but you'll also have a chance to immerse yourself in the campus experience and earn executive alumni status. With Simply Learn's Job Assist, you'll stand out to top employers and be at the forefront of AI-driven future. Do unlock the future opportunities and take the next step in your AI journey. Now let us discuss the agenda of our today's session. First, we are going to understand what is Cursor AI and then we are going to explore how Cursor AI can help you write cleaner code. Moving ahead, we are going to install Cursor.ai and finally, we are going to have an in-depth demo where we are going to walk you through real-world example to show you how Cursor AI can be used. By the end of this video, you are going to see how Cursor AI can make your development process smoother faster and more efficient. So let's get started. Which of the following is an AI powered code editor? Visual Studio Code, Cursor AI, Postman or Figma? What is the main purpose of GitHub Copilot? Hosting websites, creating UI design, suggesting code snippets using AI or running performance tests. And finally, which AI tool is best suited for generating long-form written content? Your options are Notion, Jasper, Firebase, or Git. So let us first understand what is Cursor.ai. So Cursor.ai is an AI-powered code editor built on the top of VS Code, which is designed to help developers write, debug, and optimize code faster using artificial intelligence. So you can think of Cursor AI as your AI coding partner. It sits right beside you in your editor. It helps you by understanding your code, spot bugs, and also refactor messy code. It also helps you optimize performance and even explain code in plain English. It's like combining the power of ChatGPT with the usability of VS Code directly inside your development environment. Now, you'll be wondering what are the core features of Cursor.ai. So first, it has AI inline assistant like ChatGPT in your code. You can highlight a piece of code and simply ask like explain this or fix this bug or refactor this function and Cursor responds right there in the editor. It also has smart bug fixing feature. Cursor identifies syntax and runtime errors as you type. It not only highlights the bug, but also explains what's wrong, often provides a direct fix. For example, if you missed a colon in Python, Cursor will highlight it and fix it with a click. Then code refactoring and also cleanup. Cursor also helps to improve your code quality, like it will suggest better variables name, simplifying complex logic, it also removes unused imports and it applies proper formatting like pep8 in python or prettier. Next you can see you can also optimize performance. Cursor can help you analyze entire files and projects to find inefficient loops or redundant database queries, memory leaks or slow operations. It often suggests ways to refactor for better speed and efficiency. It also has natural language prompts. Just type a comment like write a function to reverse a string. Okay, then Cursor can easily understand that and it is going to generate code for you instantly. It understands English prompts, code context, multiple languages like Python, JavaScript, Java, and many more. 
It also has project level understanding. Unlike ChatGPT in the browser, Cursor understands your entire code base. You can ask questions about functions across multiple files. It keeps track of your project structure, imports and dependency. And finally, it has AI driven navigation and suggestions. You can use Cursor to jump to related function, ask where is the variable used, to generate doc string automatically and also it can auto generate unit test. It can even explain a whole file which does in plain English. Now you'd be wondering for whom Cursor AI is. So Cursor AI is great for beginners. Beginners can learn by example, debug it also with explanation. For intermediate level developers, you can boost your productivity, clean up messy codes. And finally, for professional candidates, you can refactor faster, write better tests and move quicker. Now, let us move to the next part that's called as installing your cursor.ai. So what you have to do guys, as you can see all over here, it's written download for Windows. When you right click on this, so it starts downloading, as you can see all over here. Now, since I've already downloaded, I will show you, but you have to follow few steps. Just you need to click it. So after installing, you're going to get a screen something like this. You need to just press enter and enter and there you can see the packages will get extracted and you are going to get a screen like this. Since you are new, so just click on sign up. Now it is going to take you to this plugin. Now since I've already logged in, so I don't have to go through much of the thing. So you can see you're going to get an editor something like this. So the installation process is very easy guys. I hope so, you have got some brief idea regarding this. Now let's move on with the hands-on part. So guys, you are going to see an interface something like this. Now you can go to the file, let's say new text file you can create or you can also open a file also. So if you click on this, so let's go to a project, let's say this is my app, this is SRC and uh, let's say we open this given file. So as you can see all over here, there are some bugs in this code. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to ask cursor.ai to debug it. So let's ask, let's say in this app.js, there are some bugs. You can see there are some errors coming. Please rectify the code. Okay. Now after this, just click on this. Now let us see how cursor.ai is trying to find the given answer. And you can see it, it has given you the suggestion. Wow, it's, it's, it's looking so amazing. Now you can see all over here, it has given the entire code. So you can see the header tag is missing all over here. And also you can see there is no uh, use of logo all over here, which we are trying to import. So all you have to do is nothing, just copy this given thing and you can just paste it in your code. Okay. now. As you can see all over here, such amazingly, it has given the option for the same. Now let us try to also work with the Python file and uh, let us try to debug that. Now, as you can see all over here in our app.py, there are some errors that are coming. Now we are going to debug this using cursor.ai. So go to your given application, go to file and let's say open a file. Now let us locate the given folder where we have this given code. So, and you can see all over here, there's a file called app.py. Just open this given file and uh, let's ask all over here to, okay, after this, just type all over here in this given tab that some errors in app.py. Please rectify it. Now you can see all over here, it has, you know, amazing recommendation it has started giving. Now we can ask the entire code from here. So you can just type, give me the updated code. So now as you can see all over here, it has started giving recommendations of these given code. Let us copy this and let us try to paste in our code editor and you can see all the errors have been gone just in seconds it's a very amazing tool guys and this tool will definitely improve your productivity 
Now let us explore some of the more features of cursor.ai. Now it, it is just similar like your VS Code only. So you can see there is a terminal, there is a view, there's a file section where you can open a text file. You can also open a folder if you have entire project in the folder and there will be different tabs generated all over here. You can save it as a work file and you can see this tool is actually built on the top of the VS Code only with AI features being integrated. Seems interesting guys. So this was one of the another feature. Now you can also open a project. Let's say if I just do this and I have a couple of projects with me, let's say I'm going to open a spring project. So I'll just go to download and you could see in the demo for just select it. And you can see all over here, we have the complete repository that's being built. So you can see there is two file main. So in Java, we have like email service, notification service, user service, and there's some demo application. Let's say if anything goes wrong in any of the file, let's say any of the file is giving errors, you can ask this, uh, you know, chat assistant all over here, and it is going to give you a very clear resolution of the same. Similarly, what next you could do is, now, let us open a new window and I'll show you some of the other features. You can uh, also clone a repo. You can connect to a git repo via your SSH terminal. Very interesting tool, guys. I would like you to explore this tool. So guys, basically I'm using the free tier version of cursor.ai. So if you just click on go to unlimited, so it is going to tell you the pricing. So if you want to just uh, do it for a hobby, so it includes pro two week trial, limited agent request files will be there and there will be limited tab. Now, if you go to the professional version, you get extended limits on the agents you can use, extra unlimited tab completions, access to background agents, access to bug bot. So bug bot is the one which is going to debug the given bugs in your given project. And you can access maximum context windows, which is very much amazing. Now at ultra uh, pricing level, you can have 2x users on all OpenAI Cloud Gemini models. So you get access to a lot of different models. And also any new features coming up, so you'll be the first one to know. So it's a very amazing tool, guys. Do give it a try. And I hope so you would have liked our today's tutorial on cursor.ai. Thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further updates. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.